All right, today we're going to be doing our unboxing of the Big Buddy, Mr. Heater Big Buddy. This is uh, the largest of the Buddy series, Big Buddy series. It's a propane heater that runs off of uh, one pound um, propane cil cylinders, or it can run off of uh, a 20 pound, up to a 20 pound cylinder if you use an extended hose. Okay. So that basically is what they call the remote propane tank and you're going to require a hose and potentially a big buddy Mr. Heater filter. So this will thread onto the heater itself and then the hose for the remote propane tank will thread onto that. And that will let you run a larger tank so you have a longer operating hour. If you operate on one tank, you're looking at about an hour and a half. If you operate on two, it can be up to 12 hours on low. But if you want to run this heater on high, two tanks are required. And you're going to get about two, three hours of, uh, of heat. So that's why the remote propane tank on a 20 pounder is good. You can get up to 24 hours, all the way up to 200 plus hours, depending on which setting you run it. Um, I haven't fired this one up before. This is my first Mr. Heater uh, Buddy Heater. And um, today we're gonna just unbox it. We're gonna get it running with two propane tanks, but I just wanted to show you some of these accessories. The remote hose and the propane filter. The reason why I need this filter is because these hoses, the way they're made, they could leach oil into the propane into the propane line, which would then hit the heater. And because of the way the heater is designed, that oil residue can foul it up and I've read in posts where that same oily substance causes, you know, a heater that's been working for three years to all of a sudden not be functional. The guy that I was reading about there, he replaced it. Started with the with the same remote propane setup, and again, the brand new heater was non-functional. So if you do any reading, and if you read the manual, you're going to see that it recommends this filter. This is going to protect your heater from any of that oil leaching. Another option, this is a $12 hose. Another option is a $40 hose that Mr. Heater sells. It's a Mr. Heater brand, and you do not need a filter, which is a $40 filter to run your heater with that hose and it comes up to 10 feet or 11 feet in length so that's another option okay so we're going to be taking the uh, contents of the box here let's see what they give it first things first we have a instruction pamphlet okay so you can read that this first little uh, staple on sheet is about a new oxygen sensor when you lift it, this out, if you hear something that sounds broken, tinny, the advisory on that pamphlet is basically to say that could be the oxygen sensor. It's designed to move and it's also designed so that you hear it move because if it's moving, it's functioning properly. So that's the, the reasoning behind that. But I, I guess guys have had issues. Okay, so the pamphlet, and that looks like. It's pretty big. It's pretty big compared to the other one. The, this uh, Buddy Heater, Mr. Heater Buddy Heater. This is the big Buddy again. And it is pretty big. So yeah, so what's in the box? Basically you have the heater itself and the uh, instructions. And that's it. Okay. So we'll get a good look at the uh, heater up close. Again, this runs the two pound, one pound, uh, two one pound propane. But uh, let's just get an up close here look of the um, pilot light. So right here you have the pilot. Okay, that little. Okay. You also have the on off switch here, which is a a five step on off switch. There's a place for screws here. You can mount this on a wall. It looks like if you had a couple of screws, you could hang this on a wall, which would be pretty good. 
Uh, most of the time it says that this should be run on a flat surface, 24 inches square perimeter. So keep it clear. There's vents here, red vents on the top and red vents on the bottom. Okay. So you have to make sure that these vents are allowing oxygen to flow into the heater for proper, for proper function. What will happen is if you run this with two one pound cylinders, one on either side, you're going to be able to hit the high setting. You cannot use the high setting with only one um, propane tank. So two propane tanks attached is required for the high setting. Low and medium can run off of one. When you're on low and medium, you're only going to have one of the ceramic tiles heat up. When you go to high, that's when you're going to see the second tile heat up. If you see any uh, blue smoke or flame coming out of the top, the unit's dusty, or there's debris, spider webs, something is in there, and you should remove this front cage and clean the uh, device. You remove the back, three or four screws, remove the cage, and you clean the device with low pressure, um, pressure uh, air or a vacuum. If you're gonna use a, a compressor to blow this out and clean it up, no more than 30 PSI. Okay, so looking at this here, instructions. Some sort of instructions on them. I'm going to take a quick look here. You'll see that there is a, a pivoting female receiver and you're going to thread your one pound tank on there. And you know what? When I close this down, I'll show you how to what the remote tank situation would look like. I won't put a propane tank on it because they're very small size. But okay, so there we go. We've got tanks on there. First step, we've got to get the pilot going, the pilot light. So we're going to take the switch, push it down. We're going to go counterclockwise. Down. Well, that's clockwise to me. Okay, so I see. There we go. So you saw what I did there, it's maybe not clear to everyone, but I have the pilot running and all I did was press it counterclockwise to pilot, depress the switch and hold it, and then over to off and then back to pilot. So depress, press the switch down, depress the switch, hold it for 30 to 40 seconds. You're allowing gas from the one pound tanks to come through. Then what you do is you take the trigger while still pressing down over to off and back on and that's just a standard barbecue spark. Anyway, creates. I'm gonna let that go and it should just stay on. So we're in pilot mode. The pilot light is working good. It's working well. And it's heating up. So once you have this working, you wanna let the pilot light run for a bit, heat up, and have all the parts also heat up. So while it's doing that, I'm going to open up this filter because I said I'd show you how the remote filter setup works once we shut this down. Okay, so this is again Mr. Heater gas filter and it allows you to run hoses that are Mr. Heater approved hoses. If this works, I'll probably end up getting an approved hose. But uh, for now, I've got the filter and I'm going to use it, obviously. So we've got the, um, the male here, which will go into the tank, where the tank would be, to the female on the heater. We have the uh, little plastic guard. We have, the, you know, here we have the female. That's going to go to the male on the hose itself. So we would just thread this in. And again, you don't need to create connections here with... Um, there you go. So that you can see how I did that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Press it down a bit and I went to low. So it's a little counterintuitive. Everything when operating the heater is basically going to the left, counterclockwise. Turning the heater off, you're going clockwise back to the to the left, okay? So there we go. Now we're on low. 
one key point here, guys, and uh, everyone out there, is that when you're running this heater, you should not go too high unless you have the first ceramic tile already warm. So there's like a preheat process. Get your pilot light running. Get your low or medium selector chosen. Have that ceramic heat up. And then if you want the high settings for the full BTUs of, I think it's 18,000. Let's just check the box for that. 18,000 BTUs. And then if you want that a quarter inch all the way around the first ceramic, that's okay to, uh, if it's not orange, amber color. That's the way it's supposed to operate. You may see a little bluish flame around the ceramic but or a yellow kind of gassy looking flame around the ceramic but regardless quarter inch all the way around both ceramics is not supposed to conduct as much heat or change that white to orange color so you can see here the ceramic has um, you know it's really bright orange at the bottom but the color is becoming more intense as it heats up and as that heat regulates through the ceramic and we're starting to see that bright orange in the middle and I'm sure we'll see that at the top and once we do that I'll set it to high and we'll take a look at that we'll go to medium so slight slight depress depress Ooh, you see that change in color okay that's medium and I really noticed it just right away it just you could tell there was additional gas flowing through Okay, I just heard a little ticky ticky do. That's telling me it's pretty hot. Okay, and our next uh, step is going to be high. You can hear it ticking. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm just I'm, I'm imagining that things are expanding and the tin obviously is getting quite warm. So, whew, yeah, that's, there's some strange settings here. Bathroom only run it on low, and then bedroom it says run it on medium but not high. We're going to go to high. Here we go. So we're on high. I just saw that blue um, flame move across, which tells me that the, uh, the gas was running to the second ceramic and it ignited, obviously. So let's see how that now heats up. You can see light orange, really bright orange, obviously, because it's high. So this is 18,000 BTUs running on two-cylinder two one pound cylinders. This is gonna run for about an hour and a half on high, but it's gonna generate a ton of heat. And I will show you it in the field, uh, ice fishing at the camp while we're doing syrup, that type of thing. So I'll give you guys a little follow up video on how it works in the field, as well as how does it work one year down the road, six months down the road, three months down the road, time after use, you know, after 10 uses, what do I notice, what's going on, but so yeah, check back for follow-up uh, videos all that to say this is the unboxing video and we're just going over some general use if the device tips over the oxygen sensor will trip you'll hear that sound but it'll trip and the heater will shut off then you're going to go through the um, lighting or the ignition procedures again get the pilot running let it heat up get low medium hot move to high once you've heated up that first ceramic tile and you're back to the races, obviously, anyway. Okay, so you can see here where the first tile is just really bright. The second tile is getting there. I can feel heat blowing. So here we go. This is what they call the remote propane tank. So if you're talking Mr. Heater lingo, the tank is somewhere else, not where the heater is. So remote propane tank, up to 20-pound tank. I've got the uh, filter, which is going to take all that oil, prevent leaching from entering the heater. So male going to a female, turn it out. Probably want to put this on first because now my whole hose is gonna my whole hose is gonna flap around crazy like so put the filter on first. Just catch a thread. Let's just see how this goes. There we go. You don't want to cross thread something like this? fairly fine thread. I'm just going snug because I'm not actually going to be hooking up a 20 pounder to this. It needs a filter. If you go with the Mr. 
Mr. Heater Buddy lines, the official hose and tube, you get 12 feet. It's about $45, and you're going to uh, be able to move that propane tank to the, to the back of the boat, front of the boat, wherever you want. All right, so the filter goes on when you have a third party hose, you need a filter. And I've decided I'm going to use this on my camp stove too. So for me, it's not a big deal that I have that filter, but I might also get a 10 foot line for the Mr. Heater hose just for convenience at some point if I'm going to be having it on my boat and I want to have it at the back out of the way depending on what's going on um, and have the heater you know probably put the tank at the front of the boat have the heater kind of behind the windscreen and have that closed in for late season trolling or something I might want 12 feet of hose just to allow for that so then this would go to your remote tank Turn it on, and away you go. Okay, so this thing lit up really easy. The propane light stayed lit really well. Like, you know, um, even if I didn't hold it for 30 seconds, the uh, ignition at the propane at the pilot light was was perfect. Took one time every time. So I'd say the heater. I'm happy with it, and it's a, a good first look at it. But really it looks good I'll let you know how it works and um, how it performs in the field it'll be boat camping it'll be camping it'll be making maple syrup it'll be used quite a bit and uh, like I said I'll do three months six months a year I'll let you know how this is uh, standing up this is really good. Okay, that's it, that's all. Thank you very much.